My name is Scott Miller. I'm the youth and young adult minister here. And I recently offered a report to our pastoral council um, about our youth ministry activities and agenda, and I included a short portion of it near the end, which you're about to hear yourself at their invitation. At the end of the report, I shared a bit about a book with a real disconcerting title of The End of Youth Ministry. It was published the very same week that everything was shutting down last March. Talk about a prophetic title. Here we were, shutting down everything and jumping over to video and internet resources. I mean, really, was this the end of youth ministry? Except when you actually start to read the book with this provocative title, the author was really looking into a deeper question. Why do youth ministry at all? For what end do we do youth ministry? Now I'm going to pause here just for a brief moment. And I'm going to invite you to consider or discuss this question. What's the answer? Why do youth ministry? And there's an even larger question here as well that we can wrestle with. Why do church? Take a moment. Think about it. Talk about it. The Youth Ministry Books author offers this answer. Dr. Andrew Root says, Youth ministry is for joy. What? Joy? That's not a very theological or even a technical answer, but the author goes on to explain. Youth ministry invites young people to focus in on the good. And only God is good, so joy is where you find God. Could the ends of youth ministry and church be joy? I've had some conversations with some young people, and yeah, COVID's been tough. It's been rough, it's been challenging, it's been hard, but young people are still seeking and finding joy. You know, the best part of my week comes with a regular visit from my youngest granddaughter, Ramona. We go out in the morning and we hike around, we find some woods and we explore. We find a stream and we throw some rocks. We go off and then later on and go find some horses around and then we talk with the horses over a fence. She talks to horses more than I do, but we both talk to the horses. And then we return home, and we have lunch with Grandma. And then, with all that fresh air, Ramona takes a very long nap. And it's joy. It's just a joyful day. And you know what's really even more special about that? Is Ramona's middle name, her full name, is Ramona Joy Anderson. So yeah, she's Joy. Seeking the face of God in the face of that little one, as well as in my children and other grandchildren and my wife and my extended family, that's where I get joy. And I see the good in this parish community and in all our parish young people as well. It's joy. And yes, joy's got a faith element, very clearly. Christmas joy. Listen to, the, to Mary's Magnificat prayer Again, my soul proclaims, my spirit rejoices. Easter joy, even after the terror and the pain of Holy Thursday and Good Friday, joy comes with the Easter sunrise. Watch today. The pink candle is already lit. Listen to the readings. They're calling for rejoicing. Look around at all you see. There are many challenges that we've faced already. There are many that we're facing now together, and there are many yet that we have yet to face. And yet, you can see much stuff out there that's good. And only God is good, and joy is where you find God. So here's two invitations for you. This Sunday night at 7 p.m., we'll be offering an Advent version of the stations. You can watch the exact same place you're watching this liturgy now, VR streaming. Instead of a station to the cross, like we do in Lent, we will be offering 14 stations of the Nativity, sharing the Christmas story with you and with your family in prayer. 
Next Sunday night, our music ministry will offer some of their annual Christmas concert. We won't be in the same crowded room together, but we can celebrate the songs of the season through streaming. And through streaming, we can sing as loudly as we choose in our own homes. A final note. Recently, former Senator Paul Sarbanes passed away. His colleague, Barbara Mikowski, remembered him this way. She said that Sarbanes knew that each of us could make a difference, but that working together, that's how we would be able to make a change. Throughout this Advent and Christmas season, seek the good that is all around you. Recognize that only God is in the good and that you've been graced with a moment rich with joy. And then, as a believer making a difference, and as a church together making change, share joy with others throughout this most joyful season.